All right, everyone, it is uh, Wednesday, October 18th. It's just before 12.15 p.m. West Coast, and I'm wrapping it up for the for uh, today. Uh, this is where I'm documenting my new uh, ES feature strategy with my secret indicator. I'm showing all my live trades on my Apex uh, evaluation and PA accounts. And uh, this video is where I do my wrap up of the day. And then I'll post another video of my live recorded trading session. Today, uh, there were no trades uh, for me. So I uh, have a flat day. And so not too much to talk about. I'll keep this pretty quick and simple. Uh, let's take a look here. And uh, I started around 6.50 or so in the morning. There was already uh, quite some movement to the downside, but it looked like maybe there could have been some sort of um, uh, bottom support here and maybe it was gonna turn into a range day. And I uh, really just didn't see anything, had a big move up, uh, measured move to a second leg. And uh, then we just dropped back down and broke out of what could have been considered maybe a range and made it to the previous day's low, which is this red line here. Um, and uh, yeah, and then it just kind of chopped around and wasn't really seeing anything. Uh, I had to take a break. Um, let's see. Uh, and of course, if you watch my live recorded session, you'll, you'll see all of this happen live. But uh, essentially, uh, I did get um, a white setup here. It's kind of on the verge of gold. It, it's kind of in between. I mean, basically, the reason why I called it white is I was concerned about trading back directly into the previous day's low. And, uh, you know, sometimes once you break through, it can act as resistance. And it acted as resistance right before. And so uh, this was a PB bar. All the rules were essentially in place. Um, I would have liked for the bar to close at its top, so it would have been above the previous day's low. It would have gave me some more confidence to trust it. Um, so because of that, mainly uh, those two things, uh, I didn't enter it, I skipped it, and it would have worked right away. Uh, and then uh, right about here, I took a break, took my dogs out, and uh, so I actually, I missed all of this action. So I missed a LO gold setup, would have worked virtually right away. And I came back right here on one of these candles. So I had just missed a perfect PB setup that I absolutely would have loved to have taken today. Um, but no dice, couldn't get in it, it was too late. Um, and I uh, watched it go without me. And, uh, and then, uh, had another, what I would consider a gold, I, I marked it gold, but there was one thing I was watching that made me think maybe it was white and it's something I hadn't really paid a whole lot of attention to before. Um, but it kind of got me off of it. Also the same ideas earlier trading right back essentially into, um, the previous day's low, although now we've kind of traded through it once, twice. So, uh, you know, by that time I wasn't thinking it was that important, but there was something else that kept me out of it, um, which is fine. You know, if I entered this when it went the two ticks and triggered and it pulled back, um, you know, that would have gave me um, some anxiety. Got, got really close to a stop out before it ended up working. Um, stop would have been just below this wick. Uh, so, I'm happy I didn't take that. I, I wouldn't have wanted that stress and I had reasons to stay out. Still gold though, I suppose. And then we had a white PB down here. Um, it was missing one of my rules, so I, I couldn't take it no matter what. And um, my stop would have been somewhere around here. So it got really close to the stop. I very well may have been stopped out. Um, it's hard to say since I didn't take the trade but it was definitely very close to where my stop would have been if I was in the trade before it would have ended up working. So again, another trade I'm glad to not have sat through over, you know, something like a half hour of stress, 20, 25, 20 minutes of stress, maybe a half hour, but yeah, 25 minutes by the time it finally got to down here. Um, 
And then here you can see the live market. And so, you know, it's just one of those days. I mean, um, if I was here for this trade or this trade, I could have easily been 2-0 uh, like yesterday. So it's just the way it happens. You know, sometimes you step away and you miss something good. And that's the difference of a 2 day like I had yesterday or a 0-0 day like I have today. Um, much rather have a flat day than a red day. So um, any day I'm not losing is a day I consider myself winning. And I think that's really all I've got to say today. I think the, the biggest thing about today for me is just, um, you know, this, this strategy requires patience. Uh, I mentioned it in the live recording as well. I'm, I'm not trying to be a gunslinger. I'm not trying to get every trade. I'm not trying to get 5, 10, 15, 20 trades a day. You know, I see people take hundreds of trades in a day. Um, this strategy suits my personality, which is just um, be low key, wait for it to come to me, and just take solid setups that have rules in place that are objective, that I have a solid reason to take it. And I know that when I do the, take those trades, they usually win 90% uh, right now. Maybe it's better, but currently running about 90% overall. So uh, I'd rather take a 90% 90, 90 trade with uh, 1 out of 10 losing and know that that's my odds than what I used to do uh, when I traded max price action trading system, which was, um, you know, have this kind of patience, get a loss, and then start forcing trades because it's very subjective and you can just find trades once you're in that frame of mind of wanting to get it back. And then next thing you know, you've lost two, three, four trades in a day. Uh, this system, even if I get a loss, I can't re-enter a trade unless there's a valid objective setup. So it just keeps me out of any kind of bad situations. And um, it's mellow. It, it doesn't take a lot of work. And so I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I think this is a, a good system for me. I'm not sure it's for everyone, but for my personality, uh, I really think that this is the only way I can trade at this point. So um, really two, two trades that I definitely would have taken if I had been there. Otherwise, um, I think the trades that I skipped today were all um, one, two, three trades. I had very valid reasons to skip them all. And uh, even though it looks like they all three would have ultimately worked, um, definitely two out of three. Uh, so take it as you will. We'll, uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow. And uh, I think that's about it for today. So thanks for watching. And uh, we'll try again tomorrow.